but I had just missed, or I had missed probably at least two waves of earlier DJs, you know, in the 70s and 80s. By the time I started, I had, not many of them were still working. Carol was still working at Chaps. Dane and I was still at Chaps. Um, Freddie Bowes had left the 1270 after it became Maximum Security, and I don't know where he worked. He didn't work too much after that. Um, I want to say maybe he was at the Haymarket for a little while, which is the, which also was a bar that didn't last too long. Oh, that might have actually closed before Maximum Security. Not entirely sure. Um, but So I had missed a lot of those DJs um, and only got to know them through Carol's record store. So around the, this whole period, I started going spending more time at Carol's record store, Vinyl Connection, on Huntington Avenue, which is right near which, where the Trinity Place condos are now. Um, and where Chaps was, right next door. So she would play records on Friday nights that only she had access to because she had just gotten them in the store that week and they were imports. She dealt primarily in import vinyl. And so she would play things on Friday night and then she'd have like 20 copies, 30 copies in the store on Saturday and people would come flying into the store on Saturday to find out what it was that she had played or if they could get their hands on a copy, other DJs, fans, all that kind of stuff. So she kind of had a real smart sort of like uh, shrewd approach to like, you know, how she um, publicized some of her, her records. Uh, why was she one of my favorites? Um, because she seemed to have, she seemed to know how to put disparate elements together in terms of like types of songs like she would you know play a lot of vocal high energy but then she would go into like a very deep house record as sort of a um, palate cleanser or something to go on to like the next bunch of things and I never really asked her I don't recall asking her if she planned her sets out um, that far in advance or if it was all completely improvised um, because that's sort of one of my own pet kind of um, obsessions about DJing is that like Mark Tarbox, if I remember correctly, at the 12 would bring um, just a certain number of records with him, a set number of vinyl records with him, practice the mixes, they were arranged by beat per minute, and um, I don't think he varied too much from that pre-planned set, whereas Terry Bowden um, thought that, you know, you should just bring in what you had, or as, as much of what you had, and see where the night went. I don't know which, where Carol fell in that whole spectrum exactly, and it's another reason why I would love, love, love to get her to talk to uh, the History Project. Um.